Kaya siguro si Pedro, tingnan mong itsura, sa lubong ang kilay, mahaba ang nguso, huwag mong bibiruin yan, baka mamaya suntukin ka niya. Hello mga ka my name is Adrian Milag and welcome again to my vlog. At kung first time mo dito sa aking YouTube channel, make sure na mag-subscribe ka at click mo yung notification bell button sa baba ng video na to para lagi kang updated sa mga bagong vlog na gagawin ko. Ikaw ba yung tao na feeling mo ay parang ang layo-layo sa ni Lord at parang walang blessing sa buhay mo? Dahil siguro iniisip mo, sa mga failure, mga kasalanan na gawa mo, parang feeling mo ay hindi ka worthy sa mga blessing na yon. Na feeling mo parang hinuhusgaan ka ni Lord, parang judgment to sa'yo ni Lord dahil sa mga nagawa mong kasalanan. Alam mo, kung yan ang nararamdaman mo ngayon, yan din mismo yung uh, eksaktong naramdaman ni Peter na parang hindi siya deserve ng mga blessing ni Lord. Pero alam naman natin yung story ni Peter na before siya tawagin ni Jesus na he is a fisherman. And yung encounter nilang dalawa ni, ni, ni Jesus na nung time na yun ay parang malayo kay Peter ang blessing. Tama? Na parang kahit anong gawin niya. By the way, uh, Peter is a very good fisherman. Talaga sobrang galing nito. Kumbaga, expert siya sa pagiging fisherman. Pero nung, nung dumating sa buhay niya na merong isang dry season na kahit anong gawin niya, kahit anong hagis niya ng net, walang harvest, walang blessing. And then, when Jesus called Peter, di ba, anong ginawa ni, ni Jesus? Di ba, sinabi niya kay Pedro na subukan niya ulit. At try niya ulit na, 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 na mangista. Pero nung mga panahon, eh, anong pinagkaiba? Nandun si Jesus sa boat ni Peter. And then, we know what happened. Peter received a very abundant harvest. ba diba? Sobrang dami. Halos lumubog diba? yung, yung, yung bangka. Dahil sa sobrang dami ng harvest, sobrang dami ng mga isda na nakuha ni Peter. And you know what? Ano yung sinabi ni Peter nung afternoon? Sabi niya kay, kay Jesus na siya ay makasalanan at hindi siya deserve ng mga blessing na ito. Pero Jesus called Peter. ba? Diba? Jesus blessed Peter. Despite of all the failure, despite of the sin of Peter. And right now, baka ganun yung nararamdaman mo. Alam mo, lahat ng mga blessing na meron tayo. This is all grace. All is grace. Undeserved blessing, undeserved grace because we are we are all not worthy of the blessing of God. Dahil lahat tayo ay nagse-fail, lahat tayo ay may kasalanan. And ako rin mismo ay nagkakaroon pa rin ng kasalanan. Nagkakasala pa rin ako, nagse-fail pa rin ako. I'm not yet perfect. I'm still work in progress. Pero lahat ng mga blessing ng Diyos na binibigay niya sa buhay ko, hindi ko deserve lahat ng to because all is grace. Okay? All is grace. And yun ang magiging reflection natin ngayon. How Jesus called Peter. How Jesus bless a sinner like Peter. Alam mo, baka katulad ka din ni Peter. Piling malay-lay sa ng Diyos. Pero sometimes, hindi naman talaga malayo sa atin ang Diyos. Bukas si Jesus ay nandyan na sa harapan mo, hindi mo lang siya makita. Hindi mo lang pinapapasok ang blessing at, at, at ang grasya ng Diyos sa buhay mo kasi feeling mo hindi mo deserve yung mga blessing na ito. And today, mga ka gusto ko i-share sa inyo itong very powerful na reflection ni Father Alex Balatbad tungkol kay Peter. Okay? So, panoodin nyo itong reflection na ito. Christ, magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Siguro tayo maganda ang gising ng ating umaga, not the same with Peter. Puyat si Pedro doon sa laot. Sisikat ang araw 
uuwi siyang walang laman ang bangka. Peter went home with an empty boat. His expertise in fishing and his effort was not enough for he caught nothing. Sounds familiar? With our own experience, we cannot even boast with our expertise. There are times like Peter, we go home with an empty boat. Hindi ka naman tamad. Ginawa mo ang iyong makakaya, but you go home with an empty boat. We caught nothing. Having worked hard all night and catching nothing, reminded Peter that he was never fully in charge of his life. Just try to imagine, experience the kind of life when there are many things beyond our control. In life, there are two circles, the smaller circle and the big circle. The smaller circle are the things within our control, but the bigger circle of life are the things beyond our control. How do we handle things beyond our control? There is only one way. We surrender. Yesterday, a friend of mine texted me and she posted that experience of her friend in the Facebook. Hindi namin akalain na sa oras na ito, mawawala na pa sila sa amin. Hindi lang ito kanyang karanasan. Karanasan ng marami sa atin ngayon, sa ating mga pinagdadaanan, Parang ang daming karanasang hindi natin kayang panghawakan. Our masterful techniques and profound knowledge is not sufficient. Kaya siguro si Pedro, tingnan mong itsura, sa lubong ang kilay, mahaba ang nguso, huwag mong bibiruin yan, baka mamaya, suntukin ka niya. Peter had failed. Like many of us, we experience failures. But how do we handle failures? Failures can, we, can make us bitter. And we can even resist God, blaming others, blaming God. But failures can also open us up to the reality of needing the help of God and the other. And this is the spirituality of imperfection. When we feel that we are not perfect, then we humbly recognize the power of God. Failure is also a, an opportunity for us to celebrate humility. As in the book of the prophets would say, God receives a proud heart and seeks out the humble. Have you experienced sense of failure in your life? Every successful people, they have biographies of failures. For successful people, they call failures as friends. Great people, when they are wounded, they do not see the wound, but they see wisdom. Every time they encounter failures and problems, they do not see failures and problems, but they see possibilities. In the empty boat, Peter heard the, the voice of Jesus, Pedro, sasakay ako. 
Kung puno ng laman ng bangka, makakasakay ba si Pedro, si Jesus? Hindi. The emptiness, when we empty our hearts, especially from negativities, we provide space for the Lord. Emptiness, nothingness, in spirituality, we call that sacred space. Many times, God works in us when we are at the moment of disappointment. In our emptiness, God works in us. And God provides all our needs. He blesses us even from nothing to the point of overflowing. And He wants us to have a deep relationship with Him. That's why the words of Jesus, put out into the deep water, took in autumn. He wants us to have a deeper understanding of His teaching. Like Peter, may we obey Jesus as He sends out us out from a comfort zone into a deep unknown where we will experience the guidance of the Lord. And like the apostles, may we be ready to leave our boats even if it is full of fish because we recognize that Jesus is more important than anything. God bless us even from nothing to the point of overflowing. In the emptiness, we can experience a sacred encounter with the Lord. And that encounter is life-changing. It will radically change your life. Do not forget that beautiful love affair with the Lord. Do not forget that sacred encounter because when we begin to forget that beautiful love story with Jesus with us, we will begin to be so weak, so helpless. In the emptiness, every time we remember that sacred encounter, we become stronger. For God is our strength. Amen. Ayan mga ka I'm sure na sobra kayong na-bless at na-inspire sa naging homily and reflection ni Father Alex Balatpad. And make sure mga ka na share nyo to, itong uh, vlog na to sa inyong mga friends and relatives. Ini-invite ko rin pala kayo mga ka na i-support natin ang Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House. Okay, so panoodin nyo itong video na ito. I am inviting you to visit Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House. No? This is located inside the St. Michael Retreat House compound sa Jose Extension, San Isidro, Antipolo City. Sabi ko nga kay Kito yan, while they are now preparing for, for this wedding, uh, this coming October 19, I am inviting them to have some moments of silence in the place. Kapag nagutuluhan po kayo, you are most welcome in this place. The Lady of Antipolo is inviting you. Magandang maganda po ang lugar na to. This is an oasis of prayer for the entire ministry of the diocese. But I am not closing the, the place only for people living in the vicinity of our diocese. But all of you are very much welcome. Mm -hmm. Now, po is a time of pandemic, mm -hmm. and there are no retreats here for us to survive. Sa totoo lang po, bigla po ako nag-isa negosyante. <laughs> you know, uh, I am here also not only to to have some fundraising. Nandito din po kami to, to help you at the same time. Nagtitinda po kami dito. Kung minsan mas mura pa ito kaysa sa labas, mm -hmm. so you can. Contact the blog of our brother Adrian for this. Our product like uh, Shublin, 
Hungarian sausages, langguanisa de kapampangan, tosino, pampano, pig salmon belly, name it, we have it. So, you know, you can have a try on this. And, you know, kanina pinatikpa ko sila, Brother Adrian and Shubli. Matalang ako pinatikpa ko lang, biglang ubus sa agad. Sabi ko, nagulat talaga ako. At the same time, we have also some religious items. So if you want to give something for a friend to share religious items, we have some images, like the images of St. Joseph, the Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage, St. Rock, uh, Sacred Heart, uh, St. Michael, name it, Padre Pio, we still have. And then maybe along the, the course of this promotion, I will send some pictures to Brother Adrian so that he can also share that with you. Please come, please reconnect, let us pray together. You know, I learned this in the feast. Uh, sabi ko kay Brother Adrian kanina, you know, Brother Adrian, I am an abnormal person because I am a visionary. You know, I can hear the sound of water on its drop. When everybody stops, I move. Hindi na wala ang aming pag-asa. We can move on. So, you know, I will be praying for you. Please do pray for me too. Secondly, we have also a live stream mass at the Our Lady of Antipolo Remain House every day at 10 o'clock in the morning. So if meron kayong mga mass intentions, we will post that in our live stream mass. The link of the live stream mass is this, our Facebook page, Our Lady of Antipolo Remain House. Yun lang po. Please, share, share, share. GBGB love, like, like, like. So let us reconnect and let us celebrate the love of God, even amidst the storm. God bless you. Thank you, Father. God bless you. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope na na-bless at na-inspire ka dito sa aking vlog. Make sure na i-like mo at mag-comment ka sa baba ng video na to at mag-subscribe ka sa aking YouTube channel para lagi ka updated sa mga bagong vlog na gagawin ko. At huwag mo din kakalimutan na i-like ang aking page. So this been Adrian Milag encouraging you to live your life to the fullest. God bless you more abundantly.